what's up fancy beauties and bows I am going to try something different today uh, with doing a makeup look tutorial whatever you want to call it I am not a makeup artist I am just a makeup enthusiast I'm a girly girl and so I love makeup anyway I decided that you know maybe I'm not talking to my fancy beauties and bows enough so I want to come in and just do a little impromptu um I don't know chit chat get to know me you know I want to know if you guys have any questions for me if um you know what I want to connect with you guys more you know I'm I'm on this new journey with my life I'm always doing something to revitalize who I am and to just reestablish who I am and just get to know who I am so in doing that I'm feeling really really good about myself and about the outlook on the rest of my life so I don't know I figured I'd just come in and you know talk to you guys while I decide what makeup look I'm gonna do so I think I'm gonna go with greens I've been feeling green lately and you guys know I've been on the kick with the orange and the reds and yellows so figure I'd go into the greens and I love green um, so yeah yeah that's enough for me talking for right now we're gonna go ahead and get the base put on and I don't know how well this is going to come out because <laughs> you guys know since I'm really just starting to get my makeup game uh, in shape and a little bit better than it has been in the past from when I first started YouTube uh, I don't do very well when I'm talking and and applying the makeup but you know, with with change comes growth, and so I figured I'd give it a try. Why not? So you guys know I love using that NYX Milk for my for my primer. Um, I'm pretty much a loyal type of person. You know, when it comes to anything, when it comes to you know, friends when it comes to my significant other when it comes to you know work or what have you and I'm just using elf uh, primer right now just to give myself some more security and some more base for the look and I think I'm gonna go with a cut crease today green cut crease We'll see how that's going to turn out. So, yeah, that's the gist of me. Like, I am, if if I say I'm your friend, or if I say I got you, I do. I got you. So, we're going to go into the party palette for the first color. And I think I'm going to kind of focus in on this row down here. And see what we could come up with so let's get our transition color in first and I almost feel like I need to use a brown but let's go with it anyway so you know I'm, I've been a mom since age 15 and I was a single mom to boot and I was I was 15 when I, when I had my first baby. I was 14 when I got pregnant with her. And it was my freshman year of high school. I had everything going for myself. And I think, before I go into the story, guys, I think I basically... I've been wanting to get this off of me for a very 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 long time I've been wanting to tell you guys for a very long time but I felt like you know there's 
people that come through your channel and they aren't very nice just just to put it mildly and also I'm a very private person so certain things I will share with you and I don't have a problem with it and then other times it's some things you, it's the internet for God's sakes and I don't want things that I've been through or experienced or you know that I may be even going through to be poked at or made fun of because when I share something that I'm going through I know that there's somebody else out there that's going through the same thing or maybe a, a similar circumstance and so when I do that I'm doing it so that we all can can get some help behind that and grow from it and move on from it so I think I am gonna go in with with some brown just so I can kinda tame that green and take those harsh lines away but with me walking my walk with God and getting close back close with him because you know my mom raised us in church there's there's six of us uh, five girls and one one boy and she raised us to believe in in God and to treat people a certain way and so you know that's that was our upbringing so I I will never move away from that so anyway point being is by me you know coming back to God and really standing firm on my beliefs in him it's it's taking me through a cleansing process and it, it's gone it's having me to address some things that um, me and my children went through and I feel like in in order for me to really grow and to go where I need to go in life and with with different things that I'm attempting to do I need to let it out and I need to share that with with you guys and so that's pretty much why I, why I feel like I, I need to do this video anytime you are trying to make a change in your life you need to be transparent when you when you do that and so this is my attempt of being transparent to you and you know hopefully it will encourage and motivate someone to do the same thing that they may sh be struggling with as well you know I'm not saying that you need to do it online you know on the internet or anything like that but I just feel like there's been a missing component uh, on my channel and I know it has been because of my privacy <laughs> stance on certain things and I just I just want to be more transparent to you guys so you know a, a bit more of who I am you will never be able to know truly who a person is unless you live with them on a daily basis but anyway I worked a lot with my kids um, I, at one point I had three full-time jobs that I worked um, aside from going to school to get my bachelor's degree and my family will will tell you uh, <laughs> I have to be the most educated person ever 
uh, because of the amount of degrees that uh, I went for and that I, I was able to get. So uh, now even thinking of going to get my master's degree because, you know, things have settled down in my life right now where um, some things that I was trying to deal with, um, you know, family issues and things like that have kind of uh, come to a halt for right now because I have now put those things in the hands of the Lord and allow Him to handle that because He is the author of our lives and no matter how hard you try to to make some things come through it's always going to be on his time frame and not our time frame and so it took me a long time to really realize that and to allow him to take over because I am a control freak to a certain extent um, I've always been independent and kind of sought the answer or tried to find the answer for myself. And, you know, it, it's not ever, it, it's never worked out according to my plan because it's not my plan, it's his plan. So, with that being said, I had to learn to let go. That saying, let go and let God, it is the hardest thing to ever do. But I'm learning day by day, minute by minute, second by second on how to do that. And, you know, especially when you're a mom, it's really hard to do because sometimes your kids want and need to do things on their own, in their own right, and in their own way. And sometimes some of the choices that they make may go against the way they were brought up or the way that you think that they should do things. But you, we have to remember as parents, we wanted to do things the way we wanted to do them. Maybe they weren't extre as extreme as you know, the kids do it today, but still yet in the same, we still wanted to do things our own way. So, whether it's a path that you approve of or not, we have to let them go and, and do the thing that they want to do. And just hope and pray and, and put it in God's hands that it's going to come out. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. So, I am currently, you know, I've, I've had a really hard life. I missed out on an uh, um, Olympic career. I missed out on my youth. I missed out on actually going to college and experiencing dorm life and, you know, that whole fun part of being a young adult. Um, and I don't regret my kids in the least. I don't regret having them in the order in which I had them because, again, God is the author of my story. And that's how he wanted things to, to work out. The only thing that I can say that I regret is the fact that my kids had to endure the struggles and the decisions that I made, which caused me to be, to have a guilty uh, conscience or feel like I was a failure to them as a mom and to not have you know to this date have not been married 
and you know that's a whole nother video within itself with the marriage thing because I have certain standards which could be good or could be bad you know uh, but I know that I'm the way that I am because of certain things that happened to me you know in my life when I was younger um, even as I got older things happened to where you know I didn't trust um, men you know I went through the whole thing with you know experimenting with women and I'm really telling you guys everything right now but it's good for my soul it's good for my soul and it's good for me period so you know with all those feelings that I was having with things that have happened you know in my life with my children um they're all grown now of course I had to I had to learn that I can't control everything you know I had to learn that and I'm actually going through counseling right now you know and, and in the black community we're taught that you don't go to a counselor you don't need therapy you don't need you don't need any of that you just deal with what you deal with in your house and that's that's it but you know as I've gotten older I understand and I realize that there's some underlying issues that I'm having and and I, I have to deal with those for me to be the complete me you know even with the fact of me being a young mom And being the fact that I missed out on a lot of things, it made me stuck in those years mentally, you know, to where I looked, I looked at life, and, and I'm a very responsible person, so the statement I'm getting ready to make is not what I'm saying. But I was still... I was playing catch up. That's the best way I can put it to you. I am playing catch up with my life. And if that's not a bad thing, and it's not always a good thing either, because, you know, now my kids have uh, children of their own, and, you know, they're expecting me to step up and, you know, do all the things that, you know, nanas do. That, that's what my grandchildren call me, Nana. Um, and because I'm so fearful that I let them down, it's carrying over into, you know, the, the way I interact with my, my grandchildren. Um, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit because... I am never the type of person where fear rules me. I've, I've never been afraid of anything. I've never been afraid to try anything. And so, but we're, we're talking about a life. We're talking about a person. And this life is already hard enough. And I don't want to be... And a, and a contributor to the downfalls or what have you with my grandchildren. I'm I just I, I'm not I'm not about that life for them. You know, it was certain things that I wanted to give to my children that I wasn't able to give to them. Yes, it's materialistic, but you you talking about and you looking at a person that didn't grow up with materialistic things so I wanted to give them that I wanted them to have a house that they could grow up in I was able to accomplish that 
I wanted them to have, you know, the name brand shoes or whatever. I wasn't able to do that. <laughs> um, and so, looking back, now that I'm able to, like, just sit and be with myself, I can actually sit back and think back during one one part of of things and realize that you know what you were depressed and I didn't know that I was depressed like I said I just been able to be with myself where things in my life has really kind of calmed down I mean and when I say that I'm talking about I have always been on the go on the go on the go I got to do this I got to do that I got to fix this I got to fix that this one's in trouble that one's in trouble you know this 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 and I'm in trouble my financial situation is in shambles all the freaking time so I'm always having to work two three jobs at one time and it's just like what are you doing what are you doing? And so I, I've actually, being in the mountains, I've actually been able to turn to God more. You know, and that is such a peaceful thing for me to be able to do. I'm trying to figure out what next color I'm going to put down. <laughs> and I ain't figured it out yet, y'all. Anyway, I'm just able to really say to myself you were at that point in your life you were depressed and that's the part that is on my children's mind as well you know they always say people I'm saying people always say that you always remember the bad before you remember the good and so with that part of our lives that's what they remember. They remember me, you know, being in my room all the time because my room is my safe haven. If if I'm in my room, I need to think. I need to figure things out. I need to, you know, how am I going to fix this uh type of deal? You know, that's that's what I'm what I'm focused in on at that point. This is turning out to be pretty good, guys. Um and so I would run to my room. I would be in my room. Like that's what I did. And I could be in my room and think, okay, this is what I need to do. This is how I need to pay this bill. And um, we'll be okay. You know, I had to rob Peter to pay Paul. That whole scenario. And... I'm, um, I mean, some things that other than my children I'm dealing with in therapy. Um, and I'm, I'm really not ready to go into that with you all. But I have people on this channel that I know have my back. And I know... Um, support any video that I put up they right there with me you know and it could be garbage and they're gonna find something pretty in there to, and compliment that video on and that is true support you know what I'm saying and I I really thank you guys for that um yeah this look ain't coming this this look is this is this it's my bed. Mm hmm. But I just I'm just gonna take this time with my in my uh, sessions to get to a place where I need to be, where I want to be. You know, my finances are coming together beautifully, might I add. And I'm just so excited, you know, about 
my future and about, you know, how um, me and my family are going to end up in a, in a much better space with each other. Um, and I mean, guys, when I say things have been rough financially, things have been rough financially. I moved away and I moved to Georgia in um, 13. And I haven't, I've been home, what, maybe twice? Um, and that was, you know, for, one was for a funeral and some, uh, I can't remember what the other visit was for. Oh, family reunion. That's what it was. And, you know, it was, they were good visits, but I want, I'm, I'm, I want some good visits. You know what I mean? I want to have really good time with my family and like we used to, you know, they've been trying to get me to come home for the longest, but I like it uh, where I am. Not, you know, the mountains are good, like I said, for my spirituality, uh, but Georgia has my heart. Georgia has my heart. Um, and so that's that's where I want to be. This is this is where I want to be in Georgia. So I'm not going to talk you guys' ear off much longer because I don't know how long this video is going to be. But I'm not going to edit anything out of it. However it goes up is how it goes up. I do want you guys to let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to do um, a question and answer type thing where you can like really ask me questions, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my Instagram. Um, I do get on that uh, quite frequently and then I can go ahead and determine if you know if you guys really want to do it then we can go ahead and do that until next time thank you for listening to me and uh, thank you for all the support I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this look off camera and put up the modelization at the end but I, I really needed to do this you know for me to get me into a better position. I know I was all over the place, but uh, many of you that are mothers, you can kind of fill in the blanks, right? All right, so that is it, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.